Welcome to another AngloList video, paying your Israel electricity bill online. We know how difficult it can be to navigate digital services like this, so we're delighted to be able to share our step-by-step -step English instructions with you. Make sure you have your latest electricity bill on hand, as well as your identity details, that's your tool, that's a hood, and your credit card details. We begin the process with a Google search using the keyword string Israel Electric Corporation and the first result is the web address www.iec.co.il and that's the website you need so just click on the link and enter the site. The website has two language options, Hebrew and English. The English site, like other websites of this nature, only include corporate information and all digital and other services are executed via the Hebrew site. Make sure you're on the Hebrew homepage to pay your bill and if not, click on the Hebrew language option on the left hand corner of the English page. Once you're on the Hebrew homepage, you will notice live chat options are available and the chat box can be found on the left hand side of the web page. Hebrata Hashmal's chat box service is only provided in Hebrew. Hebrata Hashmal offer a host of digital services which we'll cover in a separate video. In the meantime, there is an article with instructions on how to do this on the AngloList website and we'll post a link for this and other useful links in the comment section below. The digital services menu is on the right hand side of the web page. In the center of this web page, you'll see three blue blocks and one orange block, each leading to a separate service. You need to click on the middle blue block as illustrated here, and it says in Hebrew, Tashlum Cheshbon HaChashmal. You are now taken to a new web page and the first step in the payment process begins. Into the first space provided, you need to enter your nine digit contract number that appears on your last electricity bill. Into the second space provided, you need to enter the last four digits of the invoice number, which can be found directly under the Gerata Hashmal logo on the electricity bill. Enter the information and then click on the orange continue button. In step two of the payment process, you'll be providing your credit card details, your two dots of hood details and your personal contact information. The system automatically fills in the shekel amount from the um, contract number that you filled in in the previous menu. Um, all fields marked with an asterisk are mandatory and must be filled in. The last field is the anti-spam. Once you fill that in, click on the orange continue button as illustrated. We will now move on to the receipt and confirmation section of your digital payment. Your Hevrata Hashmal reference number, the credit card reference number and payment details are reflected on the receipt. With that, you have completed the digital payment process. Remember, when you provided your personal details, you filled in your email address. You can now expect to receive an email confirmation directly to your mailbox from Gebrata Hashmal, as shown on the screen. Just a point of interest, New Olim and those considering making Aliyah often ask us what their monthly budget for electricity should be. Well, as you can see, this particular bill was for 350 shekels. Bear in mind that electricity is paid in two month cycles. This bill reflects a two month summer consumption of a two person household using regular household appliances, some air conditioning and the daily use of a washing machine and dishwasher, which are energy efficient. In the winter months, expect your electricity bill to be at least double. Air conditioners and heaters running full time and dryers will add to the bill. Also, if your apartment has a solar water system, uh, in Hebrew, you can expect to have hot water for at least seven to eight months of the year without having to switch over to the electric boiler or geyser. And that's a huge saving in itself. Your heating and cooling bills will also be dependent on your specific location in Israel and the climate in that area. Heating and cooling costs in Jerusalem, for example, will be different to those in Eilat. We hope you found this video useful and if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe.
subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. If you have a comment or question, feel free to share it in the comment section below. See you again soon.